Greyhound fans, we are here today with All-Americans Jennifer DeMott and Kelsey Rummel heading into this weekend's NCAA Regional Tournament here at Baumgartner Field. Greyhounds play Wayne State as the top seed, Wayne State being the eighth seed at 2.30 here on Friday. We're going to ask them a few questions about their season thus far and what they need to do to keep it going. Ladies, thanks for joining us. First of all, this is your third trip, both of you, to the NCAA tournament. What does it mean to your program to have that sort of consistency, and how do you keep it going? I think it just demonstrates that our uh, program is a quality program, that we work hard every year to make it this far. Um, we're consistent. We Obviously, we've made it here uh, consecutively for the past, what did you say, three or five years, five years now. So it just shows that we're here to play and that we are ready to start to win the regionals to move on further. I think our consistency really shows like how we've established ourselves as a program here with Coach Frost. When she <clears throat> brings girls into the program, we know that we're going to go far and we're going to strive to get to regionals every year and to get to super regionals and try to get to the World Series as our main goal for the whole year. So I think that it really just shows the dedication that we have as a program. Terrific. Ladies, this is the first chance that UND has had to actually host this event. We've never hosted an NCAA softball event in the history of the program. What does it mean to your team to be able to sleep in your own beds, to be able to be here on your own field? It's exciting. I mean, we get to play at home. We get to have our own fans to come cheer us on. We don't have to have, I know last year we had some uh, uh, unwelcoming fans last year at Saginaw Valley. It's just nice to have our home, our family can come here, our friends can come, and just the comfort of our own field. We know what to expect off our field. We know we practice on it every day, so it's just exciting and comfortable. <laughs> I would agree with Jen. It's just really exciting. I mean, this is a brand new field for us. The first year we've actually um, played on it, so it's just exciting to continue to play on it. We have a great complex, and with the dome, it's great to have that um, as a part of the regional complex, so it's nice. Right, ladies, and heading into this weekend, obviously you guys have put together what is the best season in program history. I mean, how do we keep that going and eventually win a national championship? Well, it's like what we do every day. We work on our fundamentals. If without the fundamentals, then we're, it's not going to be successful, which we've seen in past losses. We follow a game plan that coach puts up for us, and when we execute that, we're unstoppable. I think the biggest thing is just our team chemistry this year. We have a lot of girls, one through nine, who can just rip the ball. Our pitching staff has been doing great with Jen, and I think that the biggest thing is that we just need to continue doing exactly what we're doing. We have a lot of new girls on the team, a lot of people who haven't been to regionals and don't really know how to treat the situation, but I mean, just taking them under our wing and just realizing that we're here for a reason and we're going to continue to be successful for a while. Thank you, ladies. Again, the Greyhounds play at 2.30 on Friday against Wayne State. The regional runs Friday through Sunday. Hope to see you all out there.